Toddler who has become iconic image of immigrant crisis was not separated from her mom at U.S. border. The Honduran toddler whose picture has become synonymous with the U.S. immigrant crisis was not separated from her mom at the U.S. border, according to a man who claims to be her father. Distraught two-year-old Yanla was photographed sobbing at the feet of guards as they searched her mother Sandra Sanchez near the U.S.-Mexico border. The powerful original photograph, taken in Texas by Getty Images photographer John Moore, has become an iconic image in the media coverage about the separation of families by the Trump administration. The crying tot appears on the front cover of Time magazine, which shows Donald Trump looking down at her dispassionately. Yelena's image appeared on newspapers and magazines around the world, swelling the tide of outrage that shamed Trump into ending family separation on Wednesday. Now, a man claiming to be the child's father has spoken out, saying she was not separated from her mother at the border. Dennis Valera told Reuters, My daughter has become a symbol of the separation of children at the U.S. border. She may have even touched President Trump's heart. Valera said the little girl and her mother have been detained together in the Texas border town of McAllen, where Sanchez has applied for asylum. Honduran Deputy Foreign Minister Nelly Ares confirmed Valera's version of events. Varela said he was awestruck and pained when he first saw the photo of his crying daughter on TV. Seeing what was happening to her in that moment breaks anyone's heart, he said. The photo was used on a Facebook fundraiser that drew more than $17 million in donations from close to half a million people for the Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Services, Ray Isis, a Texas-based nonprofit that provides legal defense services to immigrants and refugees. The Trump administration's zero-tolerance immigration policy had led to the separation of 2,342 children from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border between May 5 and June 9. Video footage of separated children sitting in cages, an audio tape of wailing children and Moore's photo had sparked worldwide anger over Trump's immigration policies. Sanchez and her daughter had left Puerto Cortes, a major Honduran port north of the capital city. Tegucigalpa, without telling Valera or the couple's three other children, he said. He said he imagined that Sanchez left with the little girl for the United States, where she has family, in search of better economic opportunities. If they are deported, that is okay as long as they do not leave the child without her mother, Valera said. I am waiting to see what happens with them.